Hey guys, Addy here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft here on the Diamond Society server. So we're over here looking at Cortez's house because we have a little bit of a reveal. So our good old fellow Pandorian master has created a little event and that event is called Pandora Fest. Yes, so for those who are... For those who don't know, Pandora is a subscription service on the server that uh, SilverCos has created that we supply one diamond block to participate in a subscription service base event and then that will lead us through stories. But he has literally gone the extra mile to make it more a big event instead of having it monthly because it takes so much time to do that. So what our challenge is it's sort of going to be a game sort of like big brother in terms of how it's going to work so there is going to be a option of what they call head of house head of house will be able to nominate two people and then everyone else after that will be able to nominate other people and then over time these people will be eliminated and the winner will receive a stack of 64 diamond blocks that that is going to be amazing so I can't wait to hopefully get that done but uh you know after last episode <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna need it because I, I, I gave him 64 diamond blocks so silver the better not be the price of the gift I gave you so let's just take a little bit of a look so this season we have Cortez we have Coop Dizzle now BC had to put uh had to pull out because he has secret spice service business so he can't participate and then we have a Gexu and all the way over here, which it looks like some people have already done the event so far, is myself, Ramanora, Traven, and Hodag. So let's, hmm, should we find a bed to sleep in? Or should we take the dangerous route and do this at night time? Hmm. Hmm. Nah, let's do it. Okay, so let's jump in and check what the book is and let's see what our first comp, head of house comp. So one, scuba diver dream. Okay, so head of house comp number one. The scuba diver dream is looking for a treasure chest full of gold in the slum lake. There are a bunch of chests, but only one contains the loot. Equip the scuba diver equipment provided to you on the left, then jump in the lake and find the treasure chest with the gold in it get a gold ingot and run back to your item frame and place it in your time starts when your feet touch the water and stops when you place the gold of the ingot in your item frame make sure to return the scuba diver equipment to the armor stand good luck okay so let's let's try our luck getting to the lake. Um, I believe we have Endy over here. He's supplying us with some of this. Oh, hello. We we sound like we have company. This is the lake. Okay, let's not dive in straight away. I am going to do a lucky dip process. I am going to hope that I'm going to leave it all up to the the um the services of the ender pearl actually no before we do that we need to get the scooby gear we cannot forget the scooby gear imagine if i jumped into the water and did not use the scooby gear okay ah oh, 63 come on yeah 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 here we go beautiful ah uh, scooby gear scooby that means i have to take my stuff off Oh, I really hope... Okay, I don't like the sound of those zombies. I was really looking forward to doing this at night time. But I'm also not looking forward to dying. Okay, come on. No, oh, put this on my head. So what do we have on here? We have Respiration 3, which is the diving helmet. And then we have Flippers, which are Depth Strider 3. Oh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be... Oh, okay. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's not where the pond is. I get myself turned around in this place. I never know. Oh, messages. 
Should I look? Nah, I'm not gonna look. No, hey, zombie, I hear you. Where are you? Come on. Nah, okay, so let's dive in in five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on, make it good. Make it good, okay. Need to, ooh, okay. Come on, nope, not here. Ah, uh, no, we'll go for this one, and then we'll go that one. I love the flipper sound. Wait, what, you're kidding me, right? That was no recipe. Okay, let's hope no one sees this episode, because, okay, let's take the quickest read out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, right in the face. Come on, out again. I need the timer to count down. I don't know where this is going to land. Oh, we're close. Um, come on, 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 come on. Score! It's done. It's done. That was crazy. Andy, where's Andy? You, my friend. Andy the protector. Okay, I don't know where Andy is. Andy doesn't seem to be around. But this guy... I am literally worshipping him this episode. The fact that I... Oh, that's crazy. The, the Minecraft Mojang gods are on my side. <laughs> okay, well this was going to be a longer process, but it seems like nothing is offered in here at the moment. That's okay, we can hold off, we can hold off. I was expecting this to be a longer episode. Oh, I better take this stuff off. And, um... Put it back on the stand. So it looks like, guys, I'm, a. Uh, Gonna have to show you what else I have been working on. I sort of did, oh, hang on, maybe that's my helmet. That would have been awkward. Come on, right click, there we go. Okay, let me go find a bed. These guys may not be near one. And then I'll show you guys what I've been working on for the rest of this episode. Hey, come on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. He got a few wax in. That's okay. I got experience in some more. So as you guys can see, I have been working on a pathway and locating some trees. Because if we head over this way and reverse back up, I have been working on a custom tree. Whoa, I thought I was closer than I actually was. Oh, great. There is a creeper on my custom tree. I don't have any. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Mr. Creeper, Creeper, Creeper. Um, let's take him over here because grass is easier to replace than this stuff. I had to Oh, come on. No. Lag, 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 lag. Why? Okay, we might be okay. Please don't blow, please don't blow, please don't blow. No. Ugh, I'm so paranoid. Oh, okay, that's my life. My life flashed before my eyes. But yes, I've been working on custom trees, but I kind of ran out of leaves. This alone for this section was one shulker box of multiple colored leaves. And I had to make my way up to the top. But as you can see, we have some normal. We have some spruce. We have some... I wish I had Optifine, but Optifine hasn't quite been updated yet. So the process of it will happen soon. Uh, I've also been busy if we uh, jump down here and come down and visit our friend. Uh. Hey, buddy. We converted a villager. Now, I don't know what he has. Uh. And I did not think about how I should get out of here. Um, I may have to pillar out. <laughs> Hello. I need help. Okay, we will we'll get out. We shall get out. One, two. But I have been under there filling in. Come on. We can do it. The lag right now. <sighs> My connection is two. It's always two. I don't know. It's it's kind of it's kind of annoying. It Where are the mobs? Filled everything in. Okay, but it doesn't matter. So this episode, now that we have the rest, I think what I'm going to do is show you guys the process of creating this tree. 
But first I have to be able to uh, open the chest, which is empty. There we go. So let's grab a few stacks of these. Now I can't quote or promise that I'm going to be any good at this because <laughs> looking at this, this actually took me a good three hours to do in survival. And that wasn't just adding the fact that I had to collect the wood to do it. So let's jump in over here. So what I like to do is a lot of this stuff is just going to be random. Make these a random shape to make it kind of seem a bit more natural. And if you're going to follow a pattern, I just find it doesn't look more like a custom tree so this will be like the outside basis of the tree you can place what will look like roots now if you like or you can feel free to do it a little bit later um, I like to stick the roots at the I guess you could say the biggest part of the tree and this sort of gives it it breaks breaks the flatness up on it and allows you to sort of carry it through into the ground and make it look like that it's meant to be, a, you know, a sort of root. Uh, and then if we can make our way in here. Now, something I didn't grab a lot of is dirt. Dirt will be your friend because the last thing you kind of want to do is have unnecessary wood, I guess you could say, in here. Because wood is, I mean, wood's easy to come by, but it's also you've got to do a lot of building. And that, that... You know, that, that takes time and not all us YouTubers and Minecraftians have time. So if we could build this up a little bit. Oh, hang on. I need my, I need my axe. Let's switch my chicken out for my axe. Uh, have this go up the same way at least. I should also invest in probably some ladders. That might be a friendly option ah, for the future. Obviously, the bigger this is, the bigger your tree, the base and thickness will be. I made this 5x5. Five five. Um, that's just the size I roughly wanted for this area so I could have multiple of them. But you at any time can choose to make them bigger or larger. You can still follow the same process. It'll just have to go in a little more then outward so let's bring the middle of this tree up um that could do that um let's i want this one to come down a bit too yes okay yeah, so that sort of gives it space where but if you kind of look at this you think there's like a big gap there it's a bit weird a big shape so if you can make your way there, this is where ladders will be handy. Um, and sort of bring it up and not make it to be such a irregular shape. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, best friend. So with this, I created the branch away. Now, if you really wanted to, to be able to... Oh, that was almost a really bad jump. <laughs> Hang on, up we go. There we go, achieve. So this is a straight sort of process. And the way that I did this, which I'll show you in sort of an off branch sort of fashion, I might start, I might start here. I want to bring it out here. So all I did was place two wood beside a main block and then build on top of it. And then I knocked the wood out from underneath. And then I continued the process in terms of placing two, knocking the one underneath, and then placing two here, up one, knocking it out from underneath. This creates a sort of zigzag pattern, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I don't want it to be too much bigger in terms of where it's going, but this also allows you to change it in any direction you want. So once you're here and you think, you know what, I want it to come out this way a little bit, you can place two here, one on top, and then knock out the one underneath. But this will, as you see, this looks a little bit different to that, but this brings sort of, sort of a straight zigzag pattern. If you, you can go on either top of the build, 
or use your scaffolding, which ah uh, didn't didn't get to. Come on, come on. Things are harder in survival. Need more energy. Um, so you can come in and actually randomly place some blocks on top, but this will allow us to jump in also underneath and place some of the builds in under this way. And that sort of it randomizes it. Once again, if you want them all to be the same way, feel free to take them out. But, you know, these different types of colors in wood, they show really, th like they, they will show you well through once you put the leaves on top. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down and sleep because I'm going to need it. And then I'm going to finish these branches and then show you my sort of method for placing leaves. Now we have that out of the way, let's show you guys some leaf placing. So first off with the rest of these branches, I actually brought four out from either corners of the uh, trunk and then I branched off to cover some of the surface area by f sort of forking the branch way. What a, what a word, fork. Create a fork, a fork branch, <laughs> a fork branch. So uh, we've got a couple of techniques here. This on this side is just the random placing one. Uh, of course, you can increase this in volume to look like that one over there. Or you can have small little ones as if it's spring and things are just coming back because all the leaves have fallen off during autumn and winter. The second technique, which it has its cons. Um, pros is it'll be quick, but the cons is you just don't have any control. So what this technique is, is growing a tree on the branch lines. So we've got a couple of them over here, which I'd like to show you. So when you place a sapling, you can have somewhat little control of how big it's gonna be. I found that if you place one fence beside it, it'll, all, it'll roughly be anywhere between one to two high. If you place two over here, sometimes you will get a middle-sized tree but sometimes you won't because when you actually place a sapling, if we were to start out as this mode on the right, if you look at the tree, you can see the sapling stage. So when you right click it with oak, it'll be stage, 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 stage. And over time, your stage will be one and two. And then it'll look for an open area and then it'll create the tree. So not every time you spawn, like you place a tree, that you're going to get what's around it. So let's place a sapling one stage. So generally your next stage or two is going to be a tree. So it really depends how open the area is. Placing these fences allow the area to be obstructed so it may spawn more trees. So this one here is also three in terms of trees. So you could do this technique as I sort of showed up here, but I don't find it to be the best technique. Uh, over time, building it up by hand, which is what I've done over here. Let's go. Uh, I find to be the best technique. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you guys finished project on these two trees because it's going to take me a while. And my time on the server is decreased because of work. But what I can show you guys is what I've done on my survival world. So let's jump into there. So now that we're here, we can see there's sort of two techniques. This is the very full luscious sort of technique that I've liked to do. Uh, it is a bit sort of empty up here. You can fill this in any time you like, but I just wanted the desired effect from down here. And this is the sort of effect where you follow the branch line and keep try to keep it sort of minimum. And I've added... 
some vines as well now this is sort of what I hope a lot of the designs will finish but that'll be finished hopefully in next episode uh, a lot of the design and stuff down here will include leaves and mushrooms if you guys want a list of blocks for what I've done for this this is what I have at the moment so we have oak we have birch spruce jungle and oak leaves I've used brown powdered concrete we've also done coarse dirt brown concrete podzol soul sand grass path and some more podzol now I've done more podzol because I needed to plant these on here these just allow me to quickly grab them to do this so guys I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a tutorial for custom tree making this is the first one that I have ever done and if this is something you want to see more of in terms of the process of building then please give this video a big thumbs up and share it to your friends if they are also looking for a way to build a custom tree so until next time guys I actually have a project for you so I uh, my time is going to be a little bit more decreased and as you can tell once I move these uh, tree examples <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of space around here so I want to know what shop or house genres I could put around here I was also thinking of adding farms to this area it'll go really well with Muse's shag and wagon we have a slimes upside down or reverse shop as he calls it I'm not sure if this is permanent or if it's uh if it's a prank or not because I have builds going up here so I'm gonna have to talk to him about that so until next time guys I hope you have an awesome day I'll see you guys next episode with finished trees and hopefully some ideas for what to build so until next time guys i hope you have an awesome day and we'll see you guys next time here with minecraft on the diamond society server <laughs>